here is the graph that we start with. Now we want to add the trend line. To do this, we'll need to add in some curve fitting functions. I have the general forms of them here. We'll start off calculating coefs and we'll use the polyfit function to do so. We need to give it the X and Y data. The X in our case is displacements and the Y is forces. The degree of the polynomial comes from the graph. The data has been making essentially a straight line, which is a first degree polynomial. And we'll replace this with one for first degree. Polyfit will give us coefs, which is the coefficients. Then we'll need to calculate the Y fit. The Y in this case, I'll change this to forces. So we know this is a forces fit. We're going to use polyval. It takes in the coefficients that we calculated from polyfit. And we need to give it the X values, which is displacements. We'll run this to make sure everything's working. And now we have new forces fit and coefficients. We want to add this to the existing plot. To do so, we'll have to add another plot command. Let's grab this and bring it to the end of our current plot strings. We'll put it down here. And when we plot multiple lines or data on a single figure, we have to add the command hold on that tells MATLAB, hey, hold on, I'm going to plot something else on the same figure. The initial plot command creates the figure, and then we're telling it to hold on and plot this in addition. We're plotting our same displacements, but with the forces fit as well. Let's go ahead and run this. And here's the plot that we get out. It's not very thick, the line that is plotted. And we'll change this by adding the extra parameter, line width, as text, and then give it a value. Let's say 2. Control Enter to run. And now we have a nice thick line serving as our trend line. At this point, Good graph skills tell us we need a legend because now we have two things in our graph. To do this, we'll use the legend command and then the arguments are simply the names of each of the data that we're giving it. The first set of data is raw data and the second is the trend line. If we run this, now we see that we have our legend in the top right. That's the default location. We can click and drag the legend around to put it where we'd like. We can also change the base location. I want this, for example, to be in the top left. Using cardinal directions, we can specify where the legend is. This is north, this is east, this is south, and this is west. You can also specify combinations like Northwest. Give legend the extra argument location and then provide the location, Northwest. If we run this, now we have our legend appearing in the Northwest of the graph. That's the main method using polyfit and polyval to get a trend line on a plot in MATLAB.